Hello guys, happy Valentine's Day and surprise. I wanted to surprise you guys with some love readings this month. And um, I have Venus here. Venus is in Pisces. This is the little Venus planet. I'm sure she's a lot bigger than that, but this is Venus. This is the Venus planet and she is the goddess of love and attraction. And since she's in Pisces, you know, I just wanted to utilize my creative energy and I thought, why not? Why not um, incorporate some love readings for people? For all 12 zodiac signs, I'm going to be taking a look at our love life. I'm not sure how long these videos are going to be, but I wanted to just give you guys a little little treat, a little extra video, you know, to, to send out the Venus and Pisces love and to get the love spreading collectively. So I have this Venus here to help with that. And, um, you know, guys, it's getting closer and closer to Pisces season, and I'm really, really utilizing and tapping into these collective energies. So I wanted to surprise you. I actually made my own tarot cards that I'm going to be using. I'm going to just pull a card from each tarot deck that I have because I cannot choose which one to use. So I have two regular tarot cards, two Rider Waite tarot card decks, um, a deck that I haven't shown you guys yet. And then I have two Oracle card decks, Wisdom of the Night and Indigo Child. So I will pull, I guess that'll be about, let's see, that'll be a total of like five cards, um, but who knows what could happen. But these I'm extra excited to show you. I made my own tarot cards, so I'm going to be pulling cards from this. I, um, I made 14 of them because, you know, Valentine's Day is on the 14th. So I have seven positive cards. And just to keep things balanced and fair, because some of us might be going through some hard times when it comes to love, I have uh, seven neg more negative cards. So I guess I'll end my intro video here. I'll show them to you guys, and we'll see what comes up for you individually. But we have the happiness card here. There is happiness and harmonious energy entering your love life. And I don't know, guys. I just literally wanted to make these. I just love them so much. And I, if you guys like these, if I get good feedback on these, then I might use these, you know, monthly. I might keep these as a deck that I use. So I have self-love. Self-love. It is important that you take the time to heal before entering your next relationship. I have attraction. There is a magnetic attraction to taking place in your relationship. I have arguments. Communication errors take a toll on your relationship. I have friendship. Get to know each other before taking the relationship to the next level. I just think these are so cute. I made them last night. <laughs> I'm just feeling so creative. Um, I have passion. The flames of passion ignite and warm your relationship. And I'm like really excited to see how these are going to play in with my other tarot cards. Because you know there's always a message. Everything happens for a reason. I have heartbreak. You or a loved one is experiencing heartbreak in a relationship. I have deep conversation. There is a deep conversation that needs to take place between you and a loved one. Mm. I have secrets. Secrets play a factor in your love life. I have rekindled flame. This is a candle. You can't really see it, but a flame has been re relit in your love life with someone from the past. And I have separation. You and a loved one are experiencing time apart from each other. I have twin flame soulmate. You and this person have met before in a different life. And I have third party situation. There is a third component to the relationship. And I have forgiveness. Forgiveness is needed in your relationship now and will heal your heart. So I made these out of flashcards and I just think they're so cute. And they're pretty easy to shuffle. So, you know, I just it works the same way. I've actually given myself a couple readings from this. But these are my love cards for you guys. Woo! Deep conversation. So, yes, I will be bringing these out in my readings. And I just want to tap into that Venus energy, guys. I just wanted to do something a little special for you. And like always, I have an intro video kind of preparing you for what the reading is going to be about. But it's real light energy. I'm just going to be, you know, giving giving each sign a little bit of a reading. Now, every card that comes out, I'm going to have a conversation with Spirit. Make sure that it's for love. 
So if the tower card came out, it would be a relate I would relate it to a relationship. I don't usually do that. I don't usually give love readings, but this time for Valentine's Day, I wanted to do that. Now, I don't really celebrate Valentine's Day, but you know I love a good theme. And you know I like to keep it cool and and things like that and this is just an idea that I came up with guys and I hope that you know you you like it and that we get some good messages here so uh, I'm giving you all my love on this Valentine's Day with Venus and Pisces um, definitely tapping into that to send out all the emotional love and healing for anyone who is willing to receive it so I'm really excited to give you guys these readings today and I'm excited to see what's going on in our love lives some of you might not be that excited, you know, I'm not all the way excited, but, you know, I'm always accepting of a, of a reading from spirit. So, me and Venus are here to talk to you about your love life, and I'm really excited to see what comes up, guys. So, I hope you enjoy your readings, and I'm sending you all the love. Bye, guys. See you in your video. Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to your February love reading where me and Venus are going to be taking a deeper look at your love life, if that's okay. So I'm going to place Venus over here so that she can look, overlook your reading. Venus is in Pisces, so I'm definitely going to be tapping into those love energies. Now, these readings have been really intense so far, so I'm excited to see what's coming up for you in love, Sagittarius. So this has everything to do with love and relationships. Whoa. Well, that just flew out. <laughs> but it came out with a lot of different cards, like literally so many different cards. But I think it was meant for me to see that there is a new love coming in for Sagittarius. It might cause you to make a certain decision or something. Okay, we have the Tower card flipping out. Bottom of the deck, new love, Ace of Cups, new emotion. Wow, the Tower card. Okay, so let's see what that means. This is for Sagittarius in love only, February 2018, please. Love for Sagittarius, February 2018, love. Love only me me messages, please, spirit. Love only. Tower. I mean, I don't know why I just said the tower. Sagittarius. Okay, we have the, the King of Cups and the... Oh, man. Oh, the chariot. The chariot. Okay, interesting. Some of you may be dealing with a cancer. Bottom of the deck, three of pentacles. Okay, teamwork. Possibly a third-party situation for some of you. So, let's see. This is, this is more of a secretive energy that I'm getting with this deck. So, let's see here. Last stop, running from love, running from love. Last stop. All right, we have meditation coming out. Bottom of the deck, grove, healing. All right, Sagittarius. Okay, so we have some healing going on here for you. So I think in relationships, you guys are healing from a situation that fell apart. Now, we have compassion coming up. Beautiful card for Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck, you are loved. All right, now I'm going to get you a card that I made. I made these cards. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius for the month of February 2018 for love. What's a love message for Sagittarius for February 2018, please? February 2018, love message for, okay, Sagittarius, we have forgiveness. In bottom of the deck, twin flame, soulmate, you have known this person in a past life. Wow, all right, let's get interpreting this message for you. So, all right, the first card out was the tower, okay, so I'm seeing right off the bat that there was something that fell apart for you guys, there was some sort of energy that is showing itself to me, the tower, the way that the tower card came out was just rather interesting, okay, Sagittarius, okay, sorry about that, Sag, um, yeah, had to take a little interval there. But back to this tower, okay? This was the first card out for you guys. And the tower symbolizes an, an ending for the universe. Like, this is when the universe literally comes charging in and it brings something to, an, like, an ending. It brings something to a completion. It's something crumbling down. Like, ashes, ashes, they all fall down. So, 
it's interesting that I see a king and a queen here. So, you know, this is a this is a union, this is a relationship that crumbled down. Now, I don't know if this is happening in February. For some of you, this is happening now. Some of you, it already did happen. And if you're one of the Sagittarius's where this already did happen, you're just thinking about this. There's some sort of reason why this is on the table for you, okay? And we're going to just go and roll with this energy. So, Sagittarius, this Tower card is coming up in your reading, and it's the first card, all right? And it has everything to do with random things coming to an end, like abruptly, okay? There was a reason why this Tower is falling down. There's a reason why this King and this Queen are jumping ship. Because this was no longer stable. This was no longer healthy. This was no longer aligning with each other. Okay, there's a reason for the tower. Now, you probably had a lot of chances to end it yourself, but then the universe came in. Now, I don't know what that tower means. This is a love reading. So, for some of you, in February, there's some something falling apart. Now, this could be you, Sagittarius. That tower can be you feeling like you're falling apart. Okay, so let's just go with this here. The tower is being validated by the Ace of Cups. For some of you, this is emotion. You know, you see the, the similarities here between the tower and between the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is pouring down, almost as if it's putting out this, this fire of the tower. So the Ace of Cups is flowing emotion. This could be Pisces season. Um, but another thing that I see here in Sagittarius is that for whatever ends in your life, there's going to be a new emotional beginning. So whatever has ended, you know, it's very important that you let it crumble down and burn because the universe is, is literally doing this for a reason. You know, for every ending, there's a new beginning. One door closed, another door open. So the Ace of Cups talks a lot about emotion. It talks about new love opportunity. This card comes up for people who have held their emotion in for a very long time. So you've probably, you know, maybe you were in a situation where you didn't feel emotionally connected to this person, or perhaps you're falling apart emotionally in a relationship that you're in. Now, I do see the Six of Swords here. Okay, so if some of you are leaving a situation emotionally, and if this has already happened, then this is just a reminder. This is a love reading for Sagittarius. So for some of you, you know, this is gonna this is gonna relate at different times and in different ways, but I see the emotion pouring here, and I see you leaving a situation with regret. So some of you left behind this tower situation, and you're spending February really, you know, reminiscing about that. But I do see a new love offer on the table, Sagittarius, but before this new love can come in, you have to let this tower happen. You guys have to let this crumble all the way down. You know, you can't resist this change in your love life because there's new love trying to come in for you. This new opportunity. Um, and I don't know, Sagittarius, that's interesting, that tower there being validated by the Ace of Cups. I'm seeing for most of you, this is just a lot of emotion that's overwhelming. And you guys are just kind of jumping ship because of that. You're jumping ship from these emotions. And... You're falling apart emotionally, emotionally crumbling down, but at least these emotions are pouring out now. At least you're, you know, mentally expressing these emotions, whether you're leaving or going or staying or whatever. These emotions are pouring now, and that's going to be, that's going to be exactly what attracts this new love to you, you know, and this is also healing. I don't want to forget that. The Ace of Cups is a healing card, and we have two healing cards on the table, so you're healing from a situation that fell apart or that is falling apart, Sagittarius. So that's interesting there. Now let's move on here to these cards. We have the King of Cups and the Chariot. So some of you might be dealing with a Cancer because this is the Cancer card, but this is also fast movement. So I'm seeing that emotion is happening very fast for Sagittarius because we have the Tower and the Ace of Cups as well. So this is fast flowing emotion and you know it could feel a lot like you know this also is Pisces season. This feels a lot like Pisces season to me because this card has came up a lot for Pisces season. Pisces season starts on February 19th, a lot of emotion. So you know just as a heads up, you guys might be feeling a lot of emotion come Pisces season. I think all of us will. 
So just, just keep that in mind there that you might be emotionally leaving certain things behind in February in relationships. Now, you're coming up as the King of Cups, and, you know, this is a very Cancer energy here. Cancer is coming up strongly for Sagittarius. Um, so if it's not a Cancer, this is victory over your emotions, though. Victory over an emotional situation. For some of you, this Ace of Cups is just emotion. Possibly because you're not even allowing yourself to be open to new love. You are more so focused on, you know, Sagittarius is still leaving something behind emotionally. So they're not really emotionally available for this new love opportunity in February, unfortunately. Because things are still, you're still dealing with the tower moment. Even though this tower has probably taken months to fall down, it's still falling down. And you're still doing, you know, the best that you can to put distance between you and this, this situation that has shaken things up. So we have the chariot here and the king of and king of cups. So I'm seeing very fast emotion, victory over your emotion. You see the crab here? There is a crab right there on the horse. So this is the chariot, victory, fast movement, and lots of emotion. You see the chariot card is the cardinal emotional sign. Cancers are very, very, very emotional. Okay, so this is this is literally a cancer energy. I'm not sure if some of you are dealing with a cancer. Maybe this uh, situation fell apart with a cancer. Maybe you're emotionally falling apart. I'm not sure. But I see a lot of quick emotion here. And it's interesting that this chariot, it is shown that this horse is kind of treading waters. So there's something here about treading waters with you, Sagittarius. And you're literally headed down an emotional path. You see this water here? Like the, the horse is literally in a river, you know, like galloping. So you're headed somewhere fast emotionally, you know, and I, I see that you're headed towards emotional victory. But in, in, in order to deal, in order to find this emotional victory, you're really going to have to let that tower crumble down and allow this these new emotions in. For some of you, this is just really new emotion coming in, new ways you feel differently in February and March. And you're going to gain victory over your emotions if you choose to take this emotional path. Some of you are going to shy away from this path, but you really, the spirit is really showing me. Look at the light. Look at the light back here. This path is being lit for you. Okay, but some of you would rather kick your feet up and just chill until these waves come in. Look at these waves slowly coming in for Sagittarius. These are the waves of Pisces season, the waves of emotion. And, you know, you're handling this emotion the best you can. You're kind of giving into this emotion like the King of Cups. Like, all right, cool. I'll just chill here until the waves come in. Okay, but the, the King of Cups, and, and this is symbolized by a woman because this is the goddess deck. So there's a lot of women here. So feminine energies, feminine emotion, feminine divine. You know what I mean? The divine feminine. So some of you are embracing these emotions after the tower, you know, this could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio for some of you, feeling Cancer very strongly here. And for some of you, you're leaving an emotional situation behind because you'd rather have victory than be an emotional victim to something. So you were chilling for a long time there with your feet up. Like this woman is literally chilling with her emotion. She's not afraid of that. She's not afraid of the emotion coming in. She's just like, bring it on, you know. And there's this cup here for her. So you really want to sit on your emotional throne, Sagittarius, because you will gain victory. This is the victory card. Very fast movement. So you might be moving away from this emotion. Now, the card validating that is the Three of Pentacles. This card talks about emotion. This card, I'm sorry, this card talks about teamwork. It talks about working together, following, following a contract, following a path or some sort of a blueprint but working together so you know guys this is a third party situation there are three people involved here so I'm not sure if some of you are in multiple relationships or if some of you are in like polyamorous relationships but I see that there's a lot of different people here like it might be a financial situation for some of you I'm not sure but this is validating that victory card. This is validating the King of Pentacles. So you want to work together with your emotion right now in order to gain victory. And for a very select few of you, this is a, a third-party situation. 
Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy okay so very interesting there but you know for the most part I just see that you want to follow a plan you see how this lady has a kind of a scroll over here and she knows the plan and these people are kind of working together to to build this statue so that's a metaphor for the teamwork so this could be a work situation some of you might work with with a lover some of you could be working with this tower situation could be still hanging out with a person that you know you broke things off with but in order to gain emotional victory over this situation you need to work together i'm seeing work together with your emotion so i'm seeing that literally for for most of you that you want to work together with this emotion instead of resisting it and fighting it because through your emotions you will gain more awareness towards the way that you feel okay and there is an element of healing here too because we have the grove over here okay well one second sag i'm gonna let my dog in here lay down lay down lay down if you're gonna be in here with bray lay down so we have meditation coming up this is the meditation card and there's a lot of water in this card too sagittarius and it's also the 25 card so I'm not sure if the number 25 means anything to you, but this is also the number seven. Five plus seven is, I mean, five plus two is seven. So the seventh house is about relationships. This is a relationship reading, right? So you guys wanna meditate right now. The spirit is telling me, you. this is a time to really meditate and to heal and to contact the universe, contact the angels, whatever you believe in as a higher power Sagittarius. Through meditation, through emotional meditation, you will gain guidance and assistance towards what it is that you should do after this tower moment, because this is right underneath the tower. So when things fall apart, there's this spiritual element that we can take on to lead us back to that light, you know, to, to some kind of like conclude this energy, because sometimes we're just looking for an answer. Sometimes we're just looking for a reason why this happened. Why did this have to fall apart? So if you're feeling that way about your relationship, then you're being guided to meditate, literally. This is meditation. And you see all the water in this picture. We have lotuses back there and lily pads. So this is a spiritual and emotional meditation that needs to take place, even if you're in a relationship still. I don't want to say that all Sagittariuses are dealing with a breakup because some of you are trying your best to heal while still being in this relationship. But make sure that there's an element of spiritual prayer or meditation or something like that. Because I do see there's a lot of healing and forgiveness on the table. So meditate. If you're dealing, if you're a Sagittarius and you're dealing with you know, a, a tower moment, something falling apart. Well, the, the way to the way to heal from that is through meditation, I'm seeing. And others of you, you know, even if you are in a relationship, meditate together, pray together, because you're a Sagittarius and you're the house of beliefs and, and philosophy and higher knowledge. So there needs to be a spiritual element in your relationship as well. So we have meditation coming up. Now, the card that is validating that underneath is grove and grove comes up for healing there is nothing that the grove can't heal we have this cat here sitting in the forest on this cement like couch so there is healing that needs to take place like this is literally healing by meditation and also we have the ace of cups up there underneath this card so you definitely want to heal this new love might come in and heal you, Sagittarius. There's a there's new emotion coming in. And I believe that tower is there because it's already happened. And a lot of you has, have accepted this tower and you're healing from it spiritually and emotionally. And the more you do that, the more you will align with the universe for a partner that's more suitable for you. So you want to take this time to heal. Take time, especially if you're a Sagittarius that is needing healing in a relationship. Because underneath that, we have love, okay? So this is literally healing your heart, healing love, okay? And then we have the moon card. So some of you are dealing with a Pisces. And for others of you, this moon card is coming up because there are certain completions happening subconsciously with you. And I know it's complicated because we have the complicated card down here now. 
So the moon cycles are completing certain things emotionally for you. Others of you are directly dealing with a Pisces energy. And there's some sort of apology or something happening in the love department because this does talk a little bit about apologies as well. So there could be an apology coming in. This is the number three up there. Okay, so there's an apology that's going to be communicated to Sagittarius in February. And it has to do with love. We have the love card down there, and that's the number 10. So there is a completion happening with Sagittarius this month with love and relationships. And you need to heal your heart because there's a chapter that's ending, and there's a new chapter that wants to begin. But first, you have to heal. And it's interesting because we literally have 3 and 9 here. 3, 3, because 2 plus 1, and then 2 plus 5. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I lied. This is 7. So communication in your relationships by meditation, you need to communicate with the universe about what your heart wants and about what you want in love, because we have this, you know, this healing communication taking place with either you or a lover or you in a relationship. But I just keep seeing that meditation card. Whoops, 1111 as I'm talking about meditation for Sagittarius. So two healing cards. All right, apologies, new love coming in that heals you, new emotion that washes over you, and hopefully you're more like the King of Cups. Hopefully you allow this energy in willingly because when you resist water, it's kind of like what I just saw in my head for you, Sagittarius, is a river going a certain way and you trying to be a salmon because salmon swim against stream, you know, and it's really, it takes a lot more of your energy to swim against a stream. Because the water is flowing one way and, you know, sometimes you're trying to go the other way. So let the water lead you in Pisces season and let your emotions lead you because they're going to lead you right into the arms of a new lover or right into a forgiving situation, into, into a new situation emotionally. Like for some of you, this is still the same relationship, you know, some of you are with someone still. And things can fall apart and still remain, you know, that's not typical for the tower card, but, you know, this is just healing that tower moment. Either way, there's something pouring down, whether it's chaos or whether it's emotion, this is emotional chaos as well. But I do see that you're healing from this Sagittarius and you're moving away. You know, we have two movement cards as well, that six of swords and that chariot card. So you're moving away from this emotional situation. And more by more, like each day, you're gaining your spiritual confidence back. And you're coming, you're, you're being led to work together with the people who are still in, in your life. So definitely meditation coming up. You need to meditate. If anything falls apart for you in, in your relationships come February, then just meditate. And, you know, the angels, the divine, the universe will tell you, you know, ask for a sign, Sagittarius. And I'm just seeing here that you can literally heal by communicating with the universe through meditation this month. And if you're single, then you need to communicate with the universe about where your heart is now. You know, okay, universe, I, I get that things fell apart. I know why they fell apart. But please align me with healing. Please align my heart with, with healing love and with new love or with new emotional. You know, some of you might be single. And yeah, there's this new love on the table for sure. And there might be a new love that might have fell apart real quick. You know, it might have ended just as fast as it began with you. I'm not sure. But there's a healing element that you need to emotionally heal. You need to emotionally heal right now, Sagittarius. Because of something that fell apart. Okay, let's move on here. We have compassion. So compassion comes up. This is great for Sagittarius because you guys are all about compassion. You guys are all about those fiery, passionate energies, right? And I see you here with someone else. So there is a compassionate union here for some of you, maybe with a Cancer or with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or just someone who's very emotional with you. You might have an emotional, compassionate union with somebody. And this might be someone who's new, this might be the person it fell apart with coming back into your life. I'm not sure. But the compassion is here. And you might need to meditate you might need to meditate compassion into the universe so that you can align yourself with love and with light and with new emotion and with what you feel on a soul level, Sagittarius. Because there is compassionate emotions. 
Tyson. There are compassionate emotions involved in this relationship. And whether you're feeling them with another person or if you're just feeling them on your own, there's victory in this compassionate situation. That third party situation could have something to do with compassion you have for one person and emotions you have for another. There's a lot going on there, Sagittarius. Sorry about all the interruptions. I feel like that might be mean something to you guys, you know? A lot of interference with your video for some reason, and I think that's just because there's something interfering with your love life. Something blocking the compassion between you and a lover or between you and the universe, but you really want to heal from that and make sure you're spending time in emotional reflection, you know, over this union, meditating for the answer. Now, the card that is on the bottom of the deck for compassion is you are loved. So you are loved, Sagittarius, by this person, by the universe, and I hope you're loved by yourself because self-love is where it's at, okay? So we have you are loved here at the bottom, and then there's like, might be like a secret admirer or something for you this month because this rose or this lily or this flower is literally being hidden behind this guy's back. So someone loves you, Sagittarius, and I just don't think that they've communicated it to you yet. And it's sort of a secret admirer or some someone that you don't know loves you, but they do love you very much. And this is a reminder from the universe as well that you are loved. I mean, it doesn't get any, any more straightforward than that. You are loved. And there's compassion and new love on the table for you. But I do see that the majority of you need to heal from either something literally fell apart or you just feel that way inside, you know? You, you feel this tower energy inside, you know? And you need to heal from that because we have healing meditation surrounding this tower moment. A lot of emotion on the table for you. A lot of water, okay? But we have water and victory. So there's emotional victory, but you know, you have free will and you have to give in to these emotions. It, it's Pisces season is literally the best time to do that. You know, Pisces is your sister sign when it comes to Jupiter. We're both ruled by, by Jupiter. So all this energy coming into Pisces is going to affect you on an emotional level straight up. And what a time to meditate, you know, what a time to meditate with compassion and like Pisces season is literally the best time to heal, the best time to meditate, and the best time for compassion and to feel the love all around you. So as far as the cards go that I made, we have forgiveness. So I see that your heart is pretty bru bruised and hurt, Sagittarius, but it's telling you that forgiveness is needed in your relationship now, and you will heal your heart through forgiveness. So you want to forgive whoever this person is that you're going through this with, because I see that you're going through this with a person. You know, you guys both jumped out, jumped out of this tower because the universe came in and, and kind of put, a, put an end to this relationship. And I'm not sure if you guys are still involved with that person or not, but, you know, forgiveness and healing is on the table. And it literally says that you'll heal your heart. So I believe this Ace of Cups in this grove energy is coming up because you need to forgive this person for what they've done to you. And maybe someone needs to forgive you. It's going to be different for all of you, but forgiveness will heal your heart. Somebody's in pain here. And you need to, you know, forgiveness isn't for the other person, Sagittarius. It's for you. You know, like you need to literally believe that you're loved enough and that you're worthy enough to, to forgive the past. To forgive this tower moment in order to embrace this, this new healing opportunity there is a new love coming in for you but you know you have to align yourself with that you have to forgive what has fallen apart in order to build something new bottom of the deck twin flame soulmate okay this is a person that you have a lot of karma with this is a person that you have a lot of light and dark with so you know you and this person have met before in a different life it's saying and you know sometimes we have to forgive people for things that they've done to us in a past life you know that energy still it kind of carries over into this life 
So very interesting there, Sagittarius. But you are loved. You can heal from this. You can forgive. There's a lot of forgiveness and healing on the table for you. And you also want to meditate forgiveness as well. And what I mean by that is, you know, it's just as simple as like listening to music and just literally setting the intent in the universe for you to forgive. And if you're on the other end of that, let's say that you broke a heart or you did something to someone else, then you can set out, you can send out loving energy to, in the universe and, and just say, you know, universe, I hope that person feels that I'm sorry and that I'm, I'm ready to forgive them and I hope that they're ready to forgive me. Okay, because this could be a twin flame soulmate for you guys. And I see that there could be some separation um, and heartbreak. Separation and heartbreak with this person. Okay, you guys are dealing with some separation. You're experiencing time apart. And someone in the relationship is dealing with heartbreak. But there might be a rekindled flame. So someone from your past could be coming back. Okay, this separation is causing you heartbreak. But you're being guided to heal on your own right now. And as long as you stay in, the, in this place of love, as long as you stay in the mindset of feeling loved and being loved, then, you know, it's all going to be good. It's all going to be good, Sagittarius. So this was your reading for February. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. And give me a thumbs up if you liked it, because this is something that I could potentially come back and do more often. So I hope this is relatable and helpful to you, Sagittarius, and I will talk to you guys in March. Bye!